Hi, I'm Scott Wolf, and this program is from a very special event, and it's signed by Walt Disney. When Walt Disney was a young boy, his family moved to Marceline, Missouri, and Walt just fell in love with it. And Marceline's influences are evidenced in Disney's movies and theme parks. This book is from 1988 and was created to celebrate the centennial of Marceline. Now, inside here is a photo of young Walt and his sister Ruth when they lived in Marceline. I could go into great detail about that city, but right now I want to focus on one place in particular, Walt Disney Elementary School. Here's a photo I took during my visit to Marceline. In 1960, the city of Marceline decided to build an elementary school and name it Walt Disney Elementary in honor of their most famous resident. And although Walt had long moved away from Marceline by the time the school was built, his touch remains all over the premises. You see, Walt was a very generous man, and he was so honored that the city agreed to name the school after him that not only did he personally attend the school's grand opening, but he brought gifts. He donated a set of encyclopedias, he donated Disney educational books and film strips, but this was Walt Disney. This is the man who decided to build a park that families can enjoy together, and he created Disneyland. He thought big, and the gifts I mentioned were nice, but he also gave them a flagpole. This is not just any flagpole. You see, earlier that year, Walt served as the chairman of pageantry for the Olympics, which were held in Squaw Valley, California, and that's where this flagpole is from. On the other side of that flagpole is a plaque which reads, This official Olympic flagpole was used at Squaw Valley, California in the pageantry ceremonies of the 8th Olympic Winter Games held in February 18th to 28th, 1960. And it's signed, Walt Disney, Chairman of Pageantry. Walt also donated two flags to the school, exact replicas of the ones that flew in Disneyland, a blue one depicting Sleeping Beauty Castle and this orange Mickey Mouse flag. This used to fly in front of the school in Marceline, but now it's preserved in the Walt Disney Hometown Museum where I took this picture. Additionally, Walt had his staff design playground equipment. Sure, there was a slide and swings, but this was Disney playground equipment. There was a Tomorrowland-like rocket ship slide. The swings had Mickey Mouse on them, and another slide was designed like a Frontierland-type fort, which complemented the covered wagon that read Disneyland or Bust. As if all that wasn't enough, Walt, Walt assigned one of his artists, Bob Moore, to create murals to adorn the walls in the school's interior. Kay Malins grew up in Marceline, and she knew Walt Disney from the time he stayed at the home of Kay and her family during one of his Marceline visits. Here's a photo of me and Kay. Interestingly, Kay now lives in what was Walt's childhood home on the Disney family farm. You could see Walt's house in the background there. Thanks to Kay, I got the chance to go inside the school and take some photos, which I want to share with you. When you first enter the school, you see these wonderful Bob Moore images of Disney characters. These are the original pieces of art from 1960, so you won't see Ariel, Belle, or Anna, or Elsa there. There were even more pictures inside the gym, and I'll show you some of those photos I took, but first I want to show you this picture inside the Marceline Centennial book. Here's Walt inside the gym. That's Walt in the middle between the school superintendent and Kay's dad, Rush Johnson. That goofy artwork behind them is still there, as you could see in this photo that I took 57 years later. All the artwork is still there, and it was done by the artist Bob Moore. He started working for Disney in 1940, first working on animation on films such as Dumbo and Fantasia, and eventually he moved to publicity, where he ended up doing all kinds of promotional artwork, including Disney letterheads and movie posters. In 1968, two years after Walt passed away, Bob designed the Walt Disney U.S. postage stamp depicting Walt surrounded by Small World dolls. And here it is. This was first issued in Marceline. They had a huge celebration for the event. 
Walt's wife Lillian attended along with their daughters, grandchildren, and other family members. The stamp, as is customary, was placed on an official first day cover and canceled from the city. Right in the middle, you could see the cancellation from Marceline. Getting back to Walt Disney Elementary School, the dedication was held on October 16, 1960, and this was one of the programs given out. Walt signed a lot of autographs that day, and one of Marceline's residents, a boy named Philip, was in attendance and got Walt to sign the program. Now, inside, it lists all the events that occurred that day, including an address by Walt. And on the back here is where Walt signed it. I always like to know the history behind my Disney artifacts, and that's what makes this even more special to me. I know the exact day and event that this is from. It's special to me because I got to visit inside the school that was dedicated when this was signed. But most importantly, it was signed in Walt's beloved Marceline, Missouri. If it wasn't for his years there as a child, it's certain that many of Walt's movies, Disneyland, and even Walt Disney World would not be what they are today. At the dedication of Disneyland, Walt said he hoped that it would be a source of joy and inspiration. And that's exactly what Marceline was a source of joy and inspiration to a young boy named Walt Disney.